In this video, I'm going to go over the basic find commands used in Linux, and we're going to focus on finding files with certain names. So I'm going to create a couple files just so we have some files to play with. I'm going to use the touch command long file name.txt, and I'm going to touch longer file name.txt and touch a file with a capital letter and a file with a lowercase letter and one more so now we have some files that we can play with and exploring the find command so the find command starts out with the actual command find and then you identify the location you want to look in. So if I used forward slash, this would look in the root of my file system. If I used dot, it would use the current directory that I'm in, my present working directory. So if I look in my present working directory, I use the find space dot, it's going to look in the directory I'm in and then identify the dash name and here identify the name Aaron. Let's see what it finds. Just the Aaron file that I created. If I repeat this command and use a capital letter A it finds the capital letter Aaron spelling file let's say I don't care if it's capitalized or not I want to find the file with upper or lowercase letters then we use the command with the I name and notice it finds both the spelling with the capital A and the lowercase Now let's see if we can find a directory. I know there is a directory named test in here, so I'm going to find in my home directory, my current directory, a type D, meaning directory, with a name test. And there I found it. If I type find dot dash type f with the name Aaron, it finds Aaron. If I repeat that command and use an I name, it finds both. So if you notice, the f identifies file for the type, and the d, the previous command, identifies a directory. How do I know that test is a directory? Let's just take a look at my home directory here and we'll see what's in there. So you can see test down here is an actual directory, D for directory. Notice I have a test and a test one. So I wonder what find command would give us the results of both of those directories. This is where we are using the star or the asterisk to identify a wild card or wild characters. So I'm going to use the find command, look in my current directory, and then I'm going to do dash name, and I'm going to use a quote test star, end quote. That'll find anything that starts with test and then ends with any other letters. Let's see what the results come up as. Test one and test. So now if I repeat this command and identify the type has to be a file, I should get no results. But if I repeat that command and try to identify directories with the spelling test, I see my results. 
So now you can see how we can find files or directories with the find command. Now I'm going to add in one more cool option, and that's if we find files, what do we do with them? We just listed them there, but now let's actually execute a command against these. Let's delete all the files, all the Aaron files. So I'm going to use the find dot dash type to make sure that they're just files, dash I name to make sure that they are uppercase and lowercase spelling of Aaron dash and then I'm going to use the dash E X E C for execute and I'm going to execute the command RM to remove those files and what files am I going to remove? The files from the result. So it will show me these files right here will be placed inside of my brackets here. And then I have to do a space, backslash, semicolon. That ends the command so that the remove command executes and takes me back to the bash command line prompt. So as we saw up here, the two files exist. I'm going to execute this command. And now if I take a look, they are gone. So let's try this command one more time. But we're going to use the longer file name. And we're going to get rid of all of the txt files. So what I'd like to do first is execute the command to see what files I get. So dash type being a file, dash I name being, let's do quotes, star.txt, so we get for result. So here if I did that command, I would now delete all of those files. So I want to do the command and try to get just my long file name. So I'm going to do long star. And there I get my three files. Longer file name, long file name, and longer file name .txt. So I get all three of those. So I'm going to execute this command and it should delete those three files. With the dash exec. And then the command is rm. I'm going to remove these files to get the result from my find command. And then end the command. Now I execute the same command without the executable. Let's see if I can find anything. Nothing's there. ls-l shows me that the longer file name txt that we created are gone. So that does it for today. And we'll... Uh, do another video on some more advanced find features. Uh -huh. I'm not sure where this was.